Hello everyone, happy Friday. Hope everyone's having a great end of your week. I accidentally hit the right click button, so I'm just, yep. Not sure why Facebook always has this message that pops up. It just started this week, but I think we're good to go. All right, if you're watching the replay, please type in hashtag replay. And if you're watching me live, welcome. I'm glad to have you here with me tonight. <clears throat> Give everybody a few minutes to hop on. And if you could say hi in the comments and tell me where you're from, I will go to my page here so I can see all of your comments. I have my volume up, so let me turn that down so you don't have to hear me twice. Okay, looks like we're good to go. So like I said, as you're hopping on, if you could please say hi in the comments and tell me where you're from. I am Barb with Farmland Designs. I'm an independent chalk couture designer. And right on cue, the neighbor dogs are barking. I think they like to say hi to y'all. So um, every time I go live, they start barking. I don't know what red five is. <laughs> hi, Barb. Happy Friday. Did you get to do any chalking today? All right, um, let's see. Do I have any announcements before we get started? Well, there's three more days to sign up for Club Couture to get the February transfer, which we did last night uh, in my live. So if you are wanting to get that exclusive transfer, you've got to sign up for a club subscription before midnight Mountain Central time, February 28th, which is Sunday. Um, I already introduced myself, didn't I? See, he, he distracts me. That's what he's good at. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Be a nice relaxing weekend, right? All right. Um, okay. I'm totally lost track of what I'm doing, where I am. <laughs> it's Friday. Oh, hey, I do have an announcement. Tomorrow in my VIP group, if you are not part of my VIP group, it is a free group with creative reveals and secret deals. And tomorrow I'm going to go live uh, doing Mod Podge with a cute little wooden birdhouse that I got up in Springerville. So if you'd like to watch me live tomorrow, please type VIP in the comments and I will send you the invite to the group and I am probably going to go live around 2 p.m. <laughs> oh boy husband's in a goofy mood tonight all right so tonight we're gonna do some inking we haven't done inking since we did our towel and uh, pot holders and this is one of our new transfers say, that says hug me and it has cactus. I'm guessing that's ironic, right? You don't want to hug a cactus. <laughs> and being here from Arizona, I think we're the only state that has saguaros, right? And we're the only Joshua trees. So here in Arizona, we have two cactus that nobody else have, saguaro cactus and Joshua trees, which neither one of these are. Well, this one kind of looks like a saguaro, right? Um, and I'm doing this in a bright red shirt because I think I am going to give this to someone who really likes bright colors. 
This is our ink mat, which by the way, they went back into stock this week. So if you don't have your ink mat, they are in stock and you can grab a hold of them. And let's just go ahead and get started. As you're hopping on, please say hi in the comments. So I have a t-shirt here and I got this on Amazon, I believe. Yeah, no, this one, my daughter does t-shirts and I think she got this one for me. So this is a Bella Canvas t-shirt and our ink is permanent. So remember that it's a bit different than chalk. Chalk is semi-permanent. And if you don't have an ink mat, you can also use a piece of cardboard or something. You just want to have a barrier in between your shirt so that the ink doesn't bleed through until you heat set it. Our ink mats are adhesive. And what's great about that is it helps the material to not slip around. It helps stop the material from slipping around and it also assists you in um, getting your wrinkles out. I don't iron before I ink unless it's really, 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 really bad. Uh, because these ink mats will do the job for you. And we just need to get the ink mat into position here. I think there's a trick to this, but I haven't figured it out yet. There we go maybe standing it up here okay so we have our ink mat in our shirt and I want to make sure that I'm in the center of the shirt because I want this right in the center um, I've seen videos of those really nice uh, t-shirt rulers where you can uh, mark the shirt depending on the size and it tells you exactly where the center is and where the best placement is for the neck. I just eyeball it. it seems to work fine. Okay. And you also want to be careful that you're not stretching the material too much because then the design is kind of going to look crinkly when you're done. And I just pull it a little bit just to get the wrinkles, but I don't pull and stretch it when I'm putting it on the ink mat. Okay, I think we got it. Now I generally, my rule of thumb for me is three fingers from the neckline is good placement. And then centered. You um, our transfers are reusable. They are silk screen transfers. So this is very similar to a silk screen design. So this is going, once you heat set it, it will be permanent. It's not going to flake off or anything like that, like uh, vinyl does. So that's uh, an awesome, uh, awesome way to make t-shirts with the silk screen. Our, since our transfers are reusable after we ink this, um, I will wash the transfer while well, my husband will and we'll put it right back on the backer sheet and use this over and over again. All right, so we don't have to fuzz our transfer because we're putting it on fabric. And I just want to make sure that I'm in the right location. So that's about the height I want it. Now let me make sure it's centered and straight. Well, I think I actually got it the first time. Fancy that, huh? All right. So here I am just running over the silk screen and making sure that it, the adhesive is all stuck down to the t-shirt so I don't have any bleed through. These fine details 
in the cactus, you want to use your finger and make sure that the adhesive is sticking. And make sure you don't have any air bubbles. <clears throat> okay. And you guys know me, I'm always a hot mess, getting ink everywhere. So I'm going to get a couple wet wipes ready to wash my fingers because when you're inking, because the ink is permanent, you want to make sure that you don't get ink on your fingers and then slap down on your shirt and get ink everywhere and be really upset because your design will be perfect and then you have these fingerprints all over the place. All right. Now with our inks, you should never have problems with our ink um, drying out. It's always creamy and dreamy. And you do not need to wa add water to it. It's always really nice. So I'm just going to get everything ready here. Um, when you're dealing with black ink, I have found that the black ink is a little thinner than the other inks. And so I always open my lid and let it sit while I'm doing the other colors. It thickens up just a bit, just enough, so there's not bleed through. But the higher pigments have a tendency to be a bit thinner. So we're using Meadow, Black Velvet, and... Bumblebee. And I'm just stirring them up, making sure they're all good. Have all my tools ready to go. All right, let's do black last. Since it's a little runny right now, I'm gonna let it sit. We'll just do I'm going to do the, actually the flower last because it's so small I don't want it to dry out. All right. And it probably won't. I'm just being extra cautious. <laughs> Ink takes much longer to dry than our chalk does. So you have a little bit longer to work with your design. But you also have to be aware that it's going to take a bit longer to dry. So you try to avoid to touch it until it's been thoroughly dried. Okay, there we go. I was being careful at the bottom there because of all the detail. Also when working with ink, you don't want to really glob it. <laughs> I call it glob it, that's the technical term. Um, glob it onto the silk screen because of bleed through. So as I'm Putting it on, I'm kind of squeegeeing out the excess at the same time. Okay. So let's use our black. And I'm always starting with the green. I'm not starting directly on the screen print area and I just felt that I got ink all over my fingers. <laughs> I told you I'd do it. And we're going to do the pot black as well. So 
So does everybody have any weekend plans? One more, except for I got black ink all over me. <laughs> That's my husband getting the iron ready. I have one of those retractable cords in my iron, so he had to pull the iron cord out. All right. Oh, not much either. Working. I always work, right? <laughs> work, 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 work. All right. I'm going to peel this slowly so I can make sure I didn't miss a spot. And when you're working with ink, it's good to pull slowly so you don't get splash. Um, I don't, again, I don't know if that's the technical term for it, but... The ink is very wet and the fabric's very fuzzy. And that turned out beautiful. Let me stretch this out. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oops. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I really like these colors. I thought it'd be a little too bright. I might wear this myself. I don't know. You know, I love when you think of something and it actually works. <laughs> Fortunately, in the craft world, even if it doesn't work, we make it work some other way, right? Those colors turned out beautiful. I really like it. I do have a little spot that I want to fix right here. It's like I... I think I missed just the tiniest of area. Now I'm going to try using a Q-tip and see if I can get that fixed. Oh, this works nicely. I'll have to remember this. So Q-tips work very nicely to fix any mistakes with the ink. I just missed a little spot on my flower. So before I dry it, I'm just touching it up a bit. One more little tiny spot. There we go. I know, aren't the colors nice? You know, <clears throat> I was pretty confident about the colors. It was going on the red shirt that was making me nervous. So we're gonna use uh, my new quick drying tool. And I'm gonna use it on high. Wow, can you believe that? I can still hear myself talk while I'm drying. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and get this dry, and then I'll show you how to heat set it. Oh, you know what? One important thing I didn't do. You want to remove your ink mat before you put heat to your shirt. And you want to do this very carefully because your ink is drying or wet. Your ink is dry. Your ink is wet, and you don't want your shirt to fold, you know, fold over on it because the ink is wet and it'll, um, uh, 
I know the sound is amazing. So let me just take my sweet time pulling this out because now normally if I wasn't doing this on a Facebook Live, I would just leave the ink mat in my shirt overnight and let it dry in the air. Um, and then I noticed a spot right here that I want to fix as well. And I'm just going to put, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Let's see. I'm just going to put this little ruler that I have just underneath it so I don't bleed through while I fix these spots. I don't think I put much, uh, much pressure down. My hand is hurting today and I wasn't able to put a whole bunch of pressure down, so... Looks like I missed a whole spot here. Okay, that's much better. Um, where's my jar? Okay, <laughs> husband took my jar and I didn't have anywhere to put my squeegee. All right, <clears throat> this is on high and you guys can still hear me. This tool is amazing. It was just launched this week. So while that's drying, let me talk to you a little bit about Club Couture. You have just three days, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you have three days uh, to sign up for the February Club. And... Uh, Sorry. <laughs> it's Friday. I can't do two things at once. All right. This is the exclusive transfer for February through the 28th and midnight, Mountain Central Time. It is $19.99 per month, uh, plus tax with free shipping. You get this transfer, which is 8 by 10 and three coordinating chalk paste singles. Every month, there's a new exclusive transfer that is not available for retail. <clears throat> so if you're interested in joining our monthly subscription program, just type club in the comments, even if you're watching the replay, and I will send you information about signing up. Also, have you thought about starting your own business? Do you love crafting and you'd like to make a little extra money? maybe as a side hustle or change of career. Um, you can work part-time, full-time, from home, completely from home. I work completely from home. And um, this is our business in a box. For $99 plus tax and shipping, you have everything you need to start your own business. If you would type team in the comments, I can send you a link to our opportunity group, which has awesome videos and an amazing amount of information to give you all of the details that you need on how to start your own business. No obligation. If you just want to look around because you're curious, just type team in the comments and you can just see what it's all about. almost dry just a couple areas that I had to fix are not dry yet so <clears throat> this tool works pretty good because the other stuff is pretty dry it gets pretty warm on high 
So our ink is drying really good. The green and the black is almost completely dry. So I would say it's as, it dries just as quick as my blow dryer did. Except for the yellow. The yellow is not drying. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Also, don't forget to type VIP to, um, for me to send you an invite to my free VIP group. Tomorrow I will be going live in the early afternoon, probably around 2, doing a Mod Hodge project. It is a gorgeous little tree house, no, not tree house, bird house that I got. And again, I've got the... Uh, I've got the idea in my head, and we'll see if we can make make it work. Also, um, tomorrow, Chalk Couture's corporate Facebook page. <clears throat> if you just do a search in Facebook, if you haven't joined their group, it's not a private group, uh, group it's their public page. They're having a Chalk Fest tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., and there's going to be about 12 designers uh, doing demonstrations. So just search for Chalk Couture, and it's their business page. And there should be a post there, um, like an invite post or an event post. Yeah, everything's dry except for the yellow. I don't know why the yellow is being so stubborn. Even the black area that I just fixed is all dry. But this yellow, I can see it with my eyes that it's not drying. <laughs> But the Chalk Fest tomorrow that corporate is having is going to be amazing. You're going to see, like I said, I think there's about a dozen different designers. So you can see all different kind of techniques, all different kind of projects, all the options with our products. The yellow is just not drying. Everything else is dry except for the yellow. I don't know what's going on with the yellow. It's still a bit tacky. It's starting to dry now. <clears throat> I can almost heat set it with this tool, right? I think the yellow will be heat set by the time I'm done. But it's a good test to show you guys how well the tool works, right? I've kept it on for, I don't know, about three or four minutes. No overheating. It's not hot at all to the touch. Nice and quiet. Yeah, even right here, it's not hot to the touch. That's really nice. Okay, I think we've got it dry. Okay, now important, important, remember to remove your ink mat before you do the heat, okay? Um, this is how you heat set it. If you have a circuit, no, not circuit, Cricut, Cricut. If you have a Cricut heat press or even a t-shirt heat press, uh, you use the settings to the material and to the device. So whatever your Cricut says for cotton, this is 100% cotton, that's what um, setting you will use. Um, I don't have either of those, so I just use my regular iron, and I'm going to remove my cutting board that I have under here because that will melt as well. No, can you? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, just grab that. 
And I should have gotten a little towel, so my husband's going to get me a towel before I do this because... Uh, I didn't know what he was asking me. He was asking me if I wanted a towel because I use <clears throat> I use curtains as a tablecloth for my craft table, and they have plastic on them. So there we go. Now we have a towel. We're all good. Um, if I wasn't doing a live, I'd do it on my ironing board, right? <clears throat> okay. So I just have a regular iron, and I have some parchment paper. Please do not use wax paper. It is not the same thing. So you just lay the parchment paper over your design. I have my iron, my regular household iron. It is set on high, which is the cotton setting. And all you have to do is you set your little timer on your phone for four minutes. And you just iron. I just do this. This is all I do. I just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you do this for four minutes. And I'm going to pretend like I speed it up. I can heat set it for real later, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it. Um, so I'm just going to do this, go back and forth. So after you've done this for four minutes, Then you let it cool just for a few seconds and then you do the other side. My husband's laughing at me. Oh, because that's my husband commenting on the video guys. He's making fun of me. He's being mean today. Okay, so then I turned it inside out, and I'm going to put the parchment paper on, oops, on this side so it doesn't press through. Oops. And it shouldn't, but I like to be extra cautious. So I just put a little parchment paper right here on the other side, especially since I didn't really do it for the four minutes. This won't, you won't need to worry too much about this. Yeah, I think you're right, Barb. I think we're gonna keep that a secret to ourselves and one day we'll do that. That's gonna happen. <laughs> And then you do, you set your timer for four minutes and you just go back and forth for four more minutes. And that's all you have to do. The shirt is ready for washing and drying in any temperature water, uh, whatever the care instructions are for the material of your item and it will last forever and that is it that's all you have to do and it your ink is permanent at that point all right one more look before we say good night There we go. Look at that. So gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I want to show you the details in the cactus. Look at that. So pretty. All right, everyone. So make sure you're in my VIP group. And if you're already in my VIP group, I will be live tomorrow uh, about two. And I hope you all have a great evening. Stay safe and stay warm. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I will see you Monday night at 6 p.m. Mountain, St uh, Mountain Standard Time. Have a good night, everyone. You're welcome, Barb. Thank you. Have a great night.